This is my smoked roasted trout with a horseradish potato salad. And for this dish, you'll need hot smoked trout, and for the potato salad, new potatoes, Greek yogurt, chives, lemon, and fresh horseradish. For the beetroot dressing, beetroot, banana shallot, tarragon, pine nuts, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and maple syrup. Let's start with the potato salad. I've got some lovely new potatoes here, but I've already boiled some in a pan, drained them, and I'm keeping them in a saucepan with a lid on to keep them warm. Now for the dressing. In a bowl, I'm going to add some Greek yogurt. Lovely, thick and rich this stuff is. About two tablespoons. And I'm going to add the juice of half a lemon, some chives, but they're not just there for the onion taste. They're there to give a nice green colour too. Into the bowl, give a quick stir, a pinch of salt and a dash of pepper. The dressing's now made. I'm now going to take the potatoes and cut into bite-sized pieces. These are going to add a lovely earthiness to the base to contrast with the spice I'm adding later. Put in the bowl. And then carefully fold in, making sure you don't break the potatoes up. And then finally, to really lift this salad, some fresh horseradish. Now, you can get this quite easy nowadays. Supermarkets are stocking it, and fresh green grocers should be able to get it for you. So take a knife, take off the end, and then with a peeler, just peel off the skin. Take a microplane or grater and just start grating into the salad. And it's very strong, so make sure you taste as you go. Yeah, that's great. It's got a real heat to it. It's going to be perfect. And now for the beetroot dressing. Now, I've got some lovely fresh baked beetroot here, but it can be quite a messy affair. So I'm going to use some gloves for this. I'm going to take a new chopping board and take a beetroot. Just peel away the skin. I mean, gloves really help because it stops the staining and a thinly slice, and you can see that lovely colour and texture you get from freshly cooked beetroot. And I want to cut the beetroot into small dices, and as neat and as small as you can, and that's plenty. So now for the pine nuts. And toasting them off really intensifies the flavour. It should take, on a low heat, anywhere between five to eight minutes. And the smell is amazing. And now they're ready to add to the beetroot in the bowl. Take a shallot, I'm going to cut in half, and then dice to roughly the same size as the beetroot and the pine nuts. And that's enough, half's fine. Now for our tarragon. And I'm just going to pick it away from its stem, just using the leaves. So pinch and finely chop. And already, look at those colours. And now for the dressing. Some olive oil, a good old glug, a dash of balsamic vinegar, give it a stir, and then what really makes it for me is the maple syrup. Now I'm using this in my dressing because I want this dressing to be sweet so it works with the smokiness of the trout and the heat of the horseradish. And now we can start on the hero of this dish. And I've got here some amazing hot smoked trout. Now if you can't find this, salmon's fine to use or even smoked mackerel. I'm just going to portion it and look at the skin underneath. It's perfect. And I'm just going to flash fry this just to crisp the skin and add some colour. Now because the trout is already cooked, it's not going to need long. Then after about three to four minutes, that is exactly what you want. The skin has crisped up nicely. But also, it's started to warm the trout through. So it's going to taste a lot more smoky and salty. Put to one side. And on a plate, I've got a chef -y thing. And to this, I take my potato salad and just start building in. Create a nice base for the trout. Should be enough. Then carefully take the trout. And last of all, the beetroot dressing. I'm so excited to try this. I'm going to get into this trout. Mm. All three components of this dish just really complement each other. A spicy seafood treat with sushi-inspired flavours my smoke roasted trout with a horseradish potato salad. So lemons and limes are going to pickle the fish. This is going to take anything between an hour and a half to two hours. I'm just going to cover it with cling film, pop it in the fridge and let it pickle. The magic's starting to happen. I'm just going to have a quick clear down and then start on the slaw. Next, some spring onions. And I've got some of these lovely pickled walnuts. Going to get a real sharp vinegary flavour, which really helps add acidity to the salad.